Some garbage cans on the right that I need to avoid. I am not doing very well <laughs> staying within my track here. It's a 48 inch track is what they try to stay inside of. And they laid that out about 52 inches, so I had some room and I think I didn't do very well. And here comes the more challenging part. The cones that are set up there are gonna force me to do some turning here because we have some winding paths through our parks and along our street sidewalks. So I think I navigated those first couple okay. Well, there I took, I took one out there. That's some spring repair. I'm gonna have to go back and put that sod back in place for what I just did there. We have priorities for the different areas that the sidewalk plows work. A city of 37 square miles, it takes a while to get to all of those priority areas. So a significant snow event of maybe like six, seven inches, it will often take three to four days, working 12 hour days to get our sidewalks fully clear. And that's not clear pavement, that's getting them cleared so that they're navigable because an expectation of entirely clear pavement is probably not one that could be met because you have to think about what happens after the first day or two of a snow event is a lot of people are using those sidewalks. So then the snow is getting tamped down and it gets crusted and it gets even harder to pick up. I'm doing it on a day where we have not had snow, no ice on the ground at all. This is a relatively simple drive because obviously you don't have any of the slippage or any of the unevenness. Definitely doesn't handle like a Maserati. Not that I've ever driven a Maserati. My back is actually a little bit sore right now. I've just been jostled around for about 30 minutes doing demo driving here. I can't imagine what it's like to be in here 12 hours a day. I think Bloomington residents should really appreciate how good our operators are, that they are able to do this so skillfully.